Hey, boys and girls, it's Miss B, and I want to read to you a book that talks about how one individual deals with disappointment. Now, this is a fiction book, which means it isn't about real people, but we've all been disappointed at one time or another, so after we finish reading the book, it would be a great time to talk to your mommy or daddy or grandma or poppy or auntie or uncle or really whoever you like about what are some of the best ways to deal with disappointment. All right, the name of our book is You Get What You Get by Julia Gassman, and it's illustrated by Sarah Horn. To my dad, Amos, you get what you get, and I'm so thankful I got you. You get what you get. Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. If his cookie had half as many chocolate chips as his sister's, look out. If he lost his turn during a game, stand back. And if he didn't get exactly what he wanted, well, you know. Sorry, Melvin, they were out of dinosaur backpacks. No, Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. And this is why he hated his teacher's favorite rule. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Because of this rule, Melvin could not throw a fit if he had to use crayons instead of markers. He could not throw a fit if he ended up last in line. He couldn't even throw a fit if his napkin was pink instead of green. No oh well, mumbled Melvin. At least I can still throw a fit at home. My family doesn't know a thing about that terrible rule. But that night, when it was Melvin's turn to choose the movie, things changed. As soon as he had chosen Dinosaur Rumble, his sister stomped her foot and whined, But I want to watch A Pony Called Trouble! Too bad! You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit, said Melvin. Everyone stopped and looked at Melvin. What did you say? asked Dad. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit, repeated Melvin. So, if your cookies only have a few chocolate chips, you shouldn't throw a fit? asked his sister. And if you lose a turn during a game, you shouldn't throw a fit? asked his dad. And if the dinosaur backpacks are all sold out, you should be happy with the robot one, and you absolutely should not throw a fit, asked his mom. Melvin gulped. There was no way to take it back. Everyone knew. Well, I mean, at school you shouldn't throw a fit because that's the rule. But at home you can, he said. I think that sounds like a good rule for home, too, said Dad. I agree, said Mom. Home and school, that's the rule, his sister chanted. Melvin wanted to cry. He wanted to shout. He wanted to lie down on the ground and throw his arms and legs about. But he didn't. After all, you get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. The end.